these are all the topics that we have seen in la, uh, last class. This class we are starting with conditional aggregation, count, if condition. Tomorrow class is a very important class. Tomorrow we'll be covering pivot table and uh, VLOOKUP, horizontal lookup. These three topics we'll try to cover uh, tomorrow. Day after tomorrow we'll be starting our macro. Right? How to manage the macro. Very interesting for people to learn. So, currently right now we are into multiple integration that is conditional aggregation. What is that conditional aggregation means? Let us, I will open a new sheet. I will just open a new sheet. To open a new sheet you just click on to that new button. Insert worksheet. I hope you are able to see that my uh, mouse over. When I mouse over onto that new sheet you can see now there is a insert worksheet. Right? That insert worksheet is the one which will allow you to create multiple sheets. So in this sheet let me have the same here. Name, uh, amount, I have it this kind of a column. Same A, B, C, D, E, F, J, K, L, etc. I have it like this. I have a value here. Right? Say, uh, 1, 3, 2, 5, 4, 4, 3, 6, sorry, 5, 4, 3, 7, 9, something. I want to now do count. I want to now do count. How many rows I have a data? The count operation is very important operation, useful operation as well. I want to get count of records. Here you have to be very careful in count. There are several operations in count. Count. When I am doing it with numeric value, when I do it with numeric value, please note the help, it is value, it is not a strength. So if I want to count the columns here, number of rows over here, I can give a range, I can give like this. So this says totally there are 9 rows. Totally there are 9 rows, this is what the count six. This is about counting the numbers. If I apply the same count here, count to this column, right? I am applying the count to the string. This is called string, type is string. If I apply the count here, uh, please note what I did here. If I want to give a block, if I want to give the range, if I press the dot, automatically it will get into the range mode. Right? So for example, equals count. I now place my cursor here. Press dot. Automatically it will start uh, blocking it. So and then I close it. For this, now you will not get the count because there is no numeric value here. Please note this alpha when I branch this, if I use simple count, I will not get any count here. For this, you can see now you got a count. Now you see this example. A, B, 1, 3, 4, 5, C, D, E. I have this. I do a count now. We have just started the class. We are into the count operation. How to apply a count operation? Count. Count range and just giving a range from E I pressed a dot automatically I get the range I block it up to 2 I close it okay now you can see only you get a count of this here 4 so count as such the count only does the counting for values if I use simple count so count has count count if count A, right? These are all some of the counts available. Now, I am getting into a conditional count. 
conditional aggregation this is what we call it as a conditional aggregation right conditional count so conditional count is right i need to now give here count right count if count if is my conditional count i am applying a condition to the my to my count here you just note here how i am doing it so conditional if count if bracket first give the range of what you want to do a count on what you want to do a count i want to do a count between a2 and a10 first select the a10 then press dot automatically you get the range put the arrow top arrow either of this or you can use the mouse as well this is my range now followed by i need to give the i am sorry i have to use count if sorry so count if count if then range then range right followed by you see the criteria so i want to now count how many four are there in this amount how many four are there in this range how many nine is in range how many greater than equal to four are in this range i like to do such counts over here so count if range select the range then criteria you can see the syntax below as i type you get the syntax so i say now four so how many four are there in this there are two fours over here four four i now change the value here to four you can see the count is changed to three i change the value to two now in the top you can see the value is changed to two so this is conditional count i want to now do count if greater than four count if range give a range right followed by comma then within quotes you apply greater than equal to four please note it has to be within quotes it should not be just greater than equal to four you are saying this entire statement is a single statement that is why we have to use quotes right for simple four we have not used the quotes whereas when i am giving greater than equal to four i have given a quotes within quotes i applied the count if now you can see i am saying so greater than equal to four there are eight values so one two three uh, i am going from the top one two three four five six seven eight i want to know greater than equal to five use greater than equal to five you can see in totally six values are there so one two three four five six so totally six values are there so please note when we uh, if anybody wanted to ask question please type in the question as i feel appropriate i will answer those questions so this count when i use count if range followed by four four means exactly matching value right if i want to give greater than equal to you can see note the formula here in the top so this is the formula b2 range followed by greater than equal to 5 so you can now you are able to get within count i am able to get with a condition i want to now go with the same thing i would like to go with a b c d how many a are there how many e are there right equal to uh, equal to is to start you to indicate that it is a having a formula count if range select the range this is the range followed by a right followed by a i say close the braces you can see only one a is there i now make the d as a you can see the count is changing to 2 i make f as a you can see the count is changing it to 3 so the value of the count is changing 
right? Sequence column only can be count or different columns is possible and means how. So if I sequence is generally, for example, if there is a space here, I just delete the space. So is this count is doing that or not? It is doing that. There is no problem at all. So sequencing of column is not required. It is not mandatory. So count will always do the count if it is a conditional count. Right? I can also use very very useful statement all this. These are all anybody who is doing a reporting, status reporting or uh, analysis. Anybody who is doing an analysis, sales analysis, any analysis you do automatically you will use these features. When we come to the pivot table etc you will understand much better. I will also explain you what is a standard uh, what is a problem when I integrate multiple sheets? What is the general problem we face? And how the problem is resolved using pivoted table as well as uh, we call it as uh, we horizontal lookup etc etc. Anyway, now we are into conditional count. So what I did is I have now taken the count of people matching to a criteria. Right? So we have done it using count if. So that is what we have done. Another one available is count A. Count A, please note here, counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. Counts, there is number of cells in a range that are not empty. So count A, right bracket, I now put the range here. Please note, I am giving a range here, right, I close it, so I got 9 here. If I empty this, I got 8 now, right, right, I am now giving uh, 8, now you got a 8. I want to now know how many empty places are there in this. I want to now know how many empty places are there in this count blank. So count blank will count blank will give me the total count of that particular range. So it will give me one space because there is a one space here. If I delete this, it will say two. So you can see now this is count blank count blank, this is uh, count number without empty records. Please see the difference here, this and this, right? So here and this, almost it's the same because it only counts the number. This one conditional count. Right? So we have done this now. So I removed both the four, so you got the count as zero. So there is a question asked how do I count if I want to do multiple values, A comma B, like that? That is called conditional count with so I'll say count multiple range if yes so set of conditions I have multiple set of conditions how do I apply that is called count if yes count if yes is for the condition first give the range as usual followed by condition A right uh, sorry uh, so criteria range 1 followed by Criteria 1. Criteria 1 is here it is A. Uh, please note it is a case sensitive. Followed by criteria range 2. The same range for me. Followed by B. Right? It will give me now total count of A and B. It is supposed to give me that. A comma B.
just a second criteria range 1 criteria 1 criteria range 1 followed by criteria 1 right so I got the two answer here that's perfect so followed by followed by criteria range 2 so criteria range 2 criteria range 2 followed by criteria 2 so a here It's not allowing me. <coughs> oh, oh. I think you need to do include another bracket. Let me do that. Uh, if I put one close braces, close braces, close braces. It doesn't allow me. We can, okay, in case any mistake that we do, right, there is a possibility that we make a mistake. Always you can use formula, right. You can take a help because knowing the help is very, very important. I am just putting my, what is that I want? Count if, yes, I want to know. So you can see now how to, he will give a sample of how to define the values. So this will help you to understand their values. So range uh, equal to yes, C25 equal to yes. So I have to give equal to. So that equal to was missing here. So this equal to is what I think it is missing here. So let us go with equal to symbol. So I think that is what it is missing. So the equal symbol is missing. I give the minimize this. So I go back, always there is a possibility that we make mistakes, it is not, we don't make mistakes. So even if I put equals, it is not matching, right? So I will go to help back. So if yes, control IFS, B25, uh, comma, colon, equal yes colon uh, C2 uh, okay okay so he is uh, because I given the same range over here that is a uh, that may be the another reason so B5 to D5 equal to yes B3 to D3 equal to yes so he is giving a different range that is also we can check it up so what he is trying to say here is I will just delete this I will go here A B C, D, E, F, G, value is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, here I will put it as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right, if I have like this, so he is now this conditional range what he is trying to say here is count if yes bracket select the range give the value equal to a perfect comma give this range right comma equals say b 